Ladies and gentlemen, I am going to show you how to mark a plasterboard, then you know where to screw. Then the plasterboard will stay on the ceiling, then the architects will come along and plaster it, and then someone will come and paint it, then when someone's laying in bed, they can look at it and say, this is how to repair an original seafront bungalow, part 190. So let me show you how this is going to look. Did you have your bag? No, I wasn't getting my bag in, just standing right here in front of me. So what you need is a level like that, and a pencil. <coughs> and then you put this along here, like that. Well that ain't fucking antique. Ooh. How long's that been there? Solid concrete. Ooh, Roman, I reckon. Nah, nah, it was concrete. <coughs> Roman take concrete. It'd be sandstone. Roman take concrete. It'd be sandstone. That's the first line. That's the first line. That's worth five. You, you know what? They come up on antiques road, so. Do you know what? That might even be sandstone. It's got mouldy marks. Huh? It's got mouldy marks, doesn't it? Yeah, no, that might have been sandstone. If that's solid sandstone, that's worth money. I'm serious, that is worth money if it's sandstone. And I can't see any stones in there, can you? For concrete? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, I don't know what to say. What is it? Shot down. No, if, if that's sandstone, that's worth money. Even damage like that. Did it have a head, didn't it, obviously? At some point, someone cut it off. So what was that? He's going from Henry VIII times. <laughs> He's got six five of his wife's up there tied up under there. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. might it's be. No idea, mate. Yeah. Oh, fuck off then, you Spanish bitch. I'll have one of your cousins. I'm going to get this attention. Right, kids. What's this, man? We then put the drywall oh, screws in yeah. every six inches. And then you can definitely have a secure roof. You make sure the nail is inside the part of the wood so the trowel does not hit the screw. Price to 
my younger brother who's really, really bad. Toys are in the shed. I've still got them up. They're quite far. Oh, I'm going to I brought him some bandanas the other week. What my friend Donna did. Because the kids love it, don't they? Yeah. Hold that, hold that, hide it, please. Yeah. If you see a hard hat and hide it, still inside. You go round all the schools giving lectures on health and safety. Yeah, that's what I like about that club in there, because I've done the toilet with you, Dan. Done me a right good favour and give me a toilet. And I had to get the thing, because it's all old under all tiles and they had it all blood, like, small hair charges and tiles and all that. And then you just pop it, it's like a. a it's, oh, a shower one. You just fucking pop it on. Like fuck, I like to pop on that end. Right, mm. mate. The big light. Right, cunts, mate. Just screwing the ceiling, guys. See, I'm working. Everything's hidden. Is that it? Everything's behind the side. Well, mate, I work on them boilers. That's why Toby's got all them little special tools. They'll get you round. Yeah, get you round here. The old like trip's the pan. Yeah, that is the thousands of pounds worth of just little tools. Yeah. Yeah. They're nothing about your tools, are they, really? But that's why I don't like mechanics. That's all fiddly like that. I'll end up fucking smashing the car. Yeah. And the yeah. grease. I do a similar kind of thing, yeah. I'll try it for 10 minutes and then smash my car. I'm just going to try and get a new one. And then when you get one, and then like one of your mates is in here, and then you go like, oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie, I'm going to say that. Let me see the drawing. Come here. That's white pipe. Where do you want it to go? Where do you want it to go? Where your right foot is. Exactly where your right foot is. Oh, where my right foot is now. Now, put it over my right foot. Right foot. Below the floor. Below the floor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let me go. That's beautiful. You know what, Dan? A little bit fresh, so I reckon we might actually be able to restore it here for Joe and see if I'm hungry. Oh, look, well, I don't want to watch these videos back. If I watch these videos back, I should be able to restore an original see if I'm hungry. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been treated to how to restore an original seafront bungalow. You have been so treated. You have seen all this hard work and you didn't even have to do it. We've got our plumbers, mate, down there. Look, Terry. Terry, how's it going down there? <laughs> yeah, there. Can we have a little interview? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to teach you to DJ next time. We're getting a load of gigs off the back of the YouTube. As you can see, work works. This is how to restore. This is how to regenerate. This is how to make an old bungalow new. Part 190. Yes. Mwah! Shine on. This is what I'm fucking skinny, isn't it? <laughs> in fact, if I was fat, 400 centres on, built for fat bloke, so like. Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, on the positive side, if you fall through one, it'll stop you. That's it, the film's done now, guys.